Welcome to Tiger Beach, a world-famous destination for shark diving. More specifically, tiger shark diving. And not only will you see tiger sharks, you can encounter up to five different species. All formidable, all top marine predators, all on the same dive. And if that isn't intimidating enough, this would be our first shark dive ever. Mario, I'm usually really confident about everything we do, but today, man, I hope we didn't bite up more than you can chew. Regardless, I got your back. Got your back too, man. Let's right. do it. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. Well, with every shark dive comes the moment where you actually have to dive in with the sharks. That moment is right now. Oh boy. As I plunge beneath the surface, cool water rushed through my wetsuit, sending an instant shock up my spine. My eyes scrambled, struggling to adjust just as they always do when first entering the water. However, this time was different. This time, I knew I was completely surrounded by sharks. But something strange happened as the environment around me came into view. The nerves I felt above the water instantly vanished and were replaced by laser focus. In a snap, my vision and other senses elevated to a hyperstate, a sensation I had never felt until this very moment. Within these few but critical milliseconds, my entire perspective changed. I was indeed aware of the countless lemon sharks around me, but I could also sense their intentions were not to attack. If anything, they seemed curious. Oddly enough, I actually began to feel calm. Then, I quickly remembered my training to not stay at the surface in the feeding zone. So with that, I began my slow descent to the bottom. The water clarity was incredible. Light beams cut through the surface and glistened all around me. Sharks and reef fish of all sizes float in and out of view in perfect harmony. And my heightened sense of awareness made this journey all the more spectacular. As I neared the bottom, the crew came into focus. Only another 10 feet to go. And like the lunar module coming in for a moon landing, I prepared for impact. Then with a slow and subtle thud, I had landed at Tiger Beach. The thud quickly triggered my mind and body into action mode. It was time to survey the sharks I could see, but more importantly, start searching for the ones I could not. Lemons, reef, and nurse sharks circled the group, making an eclectic mix of predators. And although they were pretty good size, they nearly vanished in plain sight. My eyes were searching for one thing and one thing only tiger sharks. I know it's hard to fathom how a giant 10 foot plus shark could literally appear out of nowhere, but trust me, they really can. And the most dangerous shark is always the one behind you. Suddenly, a dark shadow began to appear, moving like a stealthy submarine from the edges of the ocean. My heart must have been racing a million miles a second. And then, a quick burst of adrenaline allowed me to process the fact that an enormous tiger shark was headed straight for me. I couldn't believe my eyes as the shark glided past. It was so big. Its mass literally displaced the water around me, pushing my body aside by the power of its wake. And just as I was coming to grips with the reality of the situation, like a phantom, it was gone. To be honest, I never imagined I would find myself in this situation, kneeling at the bottom of the ocean, face to face with the tiger shark. And the crazy part was, I couldn't wait for it to come back. Knowing where the sharks are at all times is the only way to prevent an accidental attack, which is also the most frequent kind of attack that occurs in these situations. And knowing the location of the sharks is a team effort everyone checking their surroundings, 
and signaling to unsuspecting divers of a shark's whereabouts. Sharks by their very nature are curious. You can sense this immediately being in their presence. Their eyes constantly scanning, their movements subtle and calculated. But the one thing sharks also do is investigate with their mouths. And this is not what you want to happen to your body 40 feet below the surface. Even a taste test in these situations can be fatal. So knowing where and how a shark is approaching you is vital to avoiding any regrettable situations. When we first arrived at the bottom, the sharks were still very cautious, circling us at a distance of 15 feet or more. But with every lap, they became more and more confident, especially when the dive master began to introduce food. Seeing the sharks chow down giant chunks of fish was a quick reminder of the seriousness of those teeth. The way they could just devour fish after fish after fish was extremely impressive. In fact, their jaws are so strong, they can even crack the shell of a sea turtle. While in feeding mode, this initiated the sharks to investigate the rest of us. Almost as if they were thinking, who else has some tasty fish for me? Well, none of us did. So when this happened, it created some spectacular flybys. One after another, they would approach and veer to the right, and then to the left, and sometimes right overhead. The overhead shots were by far the most fun to film. In fact, the sharks got so close, you could actually see the electroreceptors in their snouts, which are used to detect prey. At this point, Mario Coyote and I were having a blast. Even Jonathan was getting into it. I could tell how mesmerized we had all become by these apex predators. Their intelligence, just as formidable as their jaws. Then, just as their curiosity and comfort levels hit their peak, came the contacts. As scary as this sounds, it's actually quite simple to redirect them away from you. The key to this maneuver is to gently palm down the shark's snout and push it away from you, letting its momentum do all the work. Check this out. Look at that barrel roll. Believe it or not, it was actually kind of fun having these contacts. But then there are times when the contacts get a little bit dicey. And to no fault of his own, Coyote, well, let's just watch. Yikes, that was close. So, so close. In fact, let's watch that again in slow mo. See, one thing you don't want to happen when making contact with any shark is place your hands or any part of your body under its nose. This will trigger a reflex that drops the shark's jaws, and yeah, you can kind of fill in the rest on why this is bad. Good thing Coyote got lucky and was able to quickly avoid that chomp, or this would have turned into a horrific bite episode. Definitely not something we ever want to happen. After Coyote's close call, we all realized our air was running low and it was time to head back to the boat. One by one, we ascended to the safety stop just below the ship. At this point, I could see the smiles all around. We had done it. We successfully completed our first major shark dive. And what made it most special is that we had done it together. Woo! That was pretty amazing, guys. Wow, were those some up close encounters with some gorgeous sharks. I don't think you get much closer to the tiger shark than I got on that dive. Amazing. Woo! All right, let me get this gear off. Well guys, we did it. We dove with some really giant sharks. Dude, that was awesome. What a great way to start off the Blue Wilderness series. And I, for one, could not wait until our next adventure. I'm Mark Vins. And I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next dive. While this is only the beginning of our explorations on Blue Wilderness, I will always look back on this adventure 
as the one that truly reshaped my perspective of the ocean, and more importantly, of sharks. While the lore and fictions of pop culture have painted them as menacing monsters of the deep, the reality is they are highly intelligent and inquisitive creatures, rightfully deserving to be respected, but above all, cherished for what they truly are, survivors of time, ancient relics of an abyss that is millions upon millions of years old. In many ways, they have already discovered the secrets of the ocean. Our goal is to learn from them, and with any luck, uncover some of its mysteries for ourselves. Oh, see that right there? Hammerhead. Oh yeah. 100% there's a hammerhead down there. The hammerhead is here, guys. We'd like to extend an extra special thank you to Jonathan Bird and the crew aboard the Dolphin Dream. You could check out some of Jonathan's other adventures on his YouTube channel, Blue World TV. And in case you missed it, make sure to go back and watch part one of our Tiger Shark expedition. And don't forget to subscribe to join me and the crew on future episodes of Blue Wilderness. <laughs>